In this video I'm going to cover how to use a web form to get new subscribers to your uh, text messaging list. And as an example here I have a little uh, plain uh, WordPress site set up and you'll see that over here on the right we have uh, a form where I can enter a mobile number and subscribe. And so when I enter my mobile number in here hit subscribe it tells me thank you you um, and then I'll be getting a message shortly a confirmation message and the message I receive depends on the uh, what you enter uh, in your settings so I want to I want to walk you through all of this right now so let's go back to our list and um, the message I just got on my phone is this reply pizza to confirm your subscription to Rick's Pizza VIP Club so uh, essentially the the instructions are are telling me to uh, how do I get on this list and this is the same as what you might even have on a sign uh, in the restaurant and and that is send the word pizza to this number well I just sent a confirmation I just sent a um, a text message from this number so all they have to do is reply in this case reply pizza so when you first set up a list this will actually be blank you're not going to see anything here so as a starting point you can copy and paste this in and then modify it to your needs uh, you'll want to tell them what keyword to send and then any anything else you want to tell them uh, to let them know that uh, um, you know you have a special list here and they have to reply in order to confirm their subscription and the reason for that is um, there are FCC rules regulations that stipulate these things but also it just makes common sense any anyone could go to this web page and just start typing in phone numbers and uh, you don't want to have that liability so uh, you definitely want them to confirm okay so the message you type in there this is what they'll receive and when they reply, you know, everything else works as normal. They send, they're sending a message to this number with the word pizza in it, and it'll add them to this list. Uh, now, the way you actually get the form on the web page is you copy and paste this HTML here. So select all that, copy it, and then uh, you can paste this on any web page on the internet. They don't need WordPress. They can use pretty much anything as long as you can insert some code into the web page. You can um, do that. Now I'm I'm on my same website here for the demonstration. I've gone into my widgets. I added a text widget. Um, I just drug over a te this text widget here and dropped it in. And uh, I'll remove this one. But um, If I uh, expand this, you'll see that I pasted in this code and then just hit save. And now it shows up over here on the right. Um, I, I added, I did it this way so that if you know some CSS, if you know um, some basic HTML, there's a lot you can do to customize this. Um, I mean, for example, you could just enter some text above it. Um, uh, let's see, get special deals available only to our mobile VIP subscribers. Okay, so you can enter normal HTML above it uh, or below it and you'll see uh, the result here. So if I refresh the page you'll see there's the there's the code I just entered. Now you can actually get a little more detailed um, instead of adding it above you know you could add it even right inside here. Now this is where it gets a little dangerous. You, you need to pay attention here and you want to be careful um, because if you change any of these names or, or things in here without knowing it that the form can can break so but I'm gonna cut I'm gonna paste this in for the demonstration and let's refresh 
and now you'll see that we have you know a little blurb in there in the box so it's very free form uh, you can do just about anything you want with it and um, uh, so you can make it look you can change the colors that type of thing with a little CSS so um, now uh, anytime someone enters their number in there they will automatically be added to that particular list now each list has its own uh, code here really the only thing that changes is um, this ID number down here that's the only thing that changes from list to list or possibly the URL if you are you know if you're using a different website then the URL would be different or the domain name and then uh, this this number so pay attention to that you don't want to get your crisscrossed thinking that you can just paste the same code into every web page uh, you want to make sure that the right people are being added to the right list so you always want to set it up and then test it